the perfect camera doesn't exist. This is a simple fact, a fact that isn't really accepted, but it is a fact. Firstly, camera companies are just that, a company. It is in their best interest to make an imperfectly perfect camera. Imperfect because they need the wiggle room to make a new camera for you to buy, but perfect because a newest iteration will most likely come in with one or some of those features we consumers have been asking for. Secondly, cameras are imperfect because when there is a camera that has everything, it has massive compromises that renders a camera useless when it comes to the end user, and that is us. Thirdly, cameras are imperfect in most cases because we tend to buy the wrong camera. The fastest way to get as close as you can to a perfect camera is to buy a camera that best fits your current needs while also considering whether the camera is one that you will grow with on top of considering whether you should get the budget-friendly lens or the lens that will last longer than the camera which then brings up the question of should we be more interested in the lens than the camera rabbit hole for another day but the best way to not buy the wrong camera is to shop for a camera based on the genre categories and subcategories of cameras and who you are as a shooter aka the camera operator now let's dive into genres for a second there are cinema cameras video cameras photography cameras hybrid cameras dad cam or camcorders and point and shoot cameras i'm over generalizing here but there are sub genres of the sub genres and specialty cameras for those specialty shooters but before i make this video boring by listing all the different categories and subcategories of cameras because I am a nerd and have been formally trained as a clinical researcher and I can't help myself. Let's keep this as simple as possible and talk about the main three categories of camera operators that you may find here on YouTube. And that is we have the filmmaker, the content creator, and the photographer. If you fall under one of these categories or are working on becoming one of these persons, here is what to consider when buying a camera. If you are a filmmaker, buy a filmmaker's camera. If you are a content creator, buy a content creator's camera. If you are a photographer, buy a photographer's camera. It is that simple. But in the end, we all know that it's not that simple. With that said, there are some overlap between the genres and professions, and it's okay to acknowledge that they exist. And how you work around that overlap is by buying a hybrid camera. Remember what I said earlier, companies do release cameras with all the things, all the stuff we want, but they come with massive compromises due to the camera trying to do everything, which is a hybrid camera. However, it is the perfect camera for exactly what you need. Let's look at the Sony camera lineup, for example. The Sony A7S line is tailored to filmmakers. It is great for filmmakers, but just okay when it comes to photographers. The A7 line is tailored toward the hybrid shooter. It is good for filmmakers and good for photographers, but great for content creators. The A7 line is tailored towards the photographer. It is great for photographers, but just okay when it comes to filmmakers. With the exception of the A7R line after the A7R5, it is now starting to cross over into the A7 territory, which begs the question, if the gap is closing between the A7 line and the A7R line, will the A7 itself exist later in the future? But most of us would be happy with the A7 line. The camera does everything great, not perfect, but good enough. Okay, now if you're buying a camera that is tailored towards your genre, but it doesn't work how you want it to, here's another way to avoid buying the wrong camera. If you're a filmmaker and you also wanna take photos, get two cameras, one for filmmaking and one for photography. If you're a content creator, go for the compromised, AKA hybrid camera, because the camera will do everything you need it to do and it will do it well, compromises and all. But also get a smaller niche photography camera, like a high quality point and shoot. Now, if you are a photographer and you wanna shoot video, you will have full range. You can go with the filmmaker's camera or you can get the content creator's camera. They will both do you well, but while also keeping your main photography camera, get two bodies that will do photography well and that will do video well or just good enough and you're all set or just go all out. <laughs> the sky is the limit. Point is, having more than one body is okay. It is how I have my kit set up. I have a cinema camera and a hybrid camera. If I had the budget, then this A7 IV would be an A1 or A9 or a camera from the A7R line because I'm a photographer who loves filmmaking and also love to spend my money on cameras and lenses, not memory cards. So the A7 IV is that great middle ground that suits how I shoot well. If you wanna see more videos like this, like and subscribe. It'll show me that you want to see more videos like this. And this playlist right here is full of gear that I use. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome.